Nandini Sahkar Yojana. So what is the context of this Nandini Sahkar Yojana? The context of the Nandini Sahkar scheme aims to bolster women cooperatives in line with the Aat Nirbhar Bharat. Miss Women Empowerment with the help of women co cooperatives in the society and the rural areas where it is required and making them I said that self-employed Aat Nirbhar Bharat vision it will be very helpful by providing financial assistance and support for the project and development. As of March 31st, 2024, no proposals have been submitted from Bihar, although the NCDC has allocated 6,426.36 crore to women-led cooperatives across India. So, so the Nandini Sahkar scheme and it is for empowering women through the cooperatives. Its main objective is enhance the socio-economic status of the woman. So, whichever the society the woman belongs to, their economic status and social status to be improved. Supports entrepreneurial dynamism via women cooperatives means the women should become entrepreneur through the Cooperatives. Eligibility for this cooperative societies with at least 50% women as a primary members. Means primary member, if there is a cooperative society, the primary member should be more and more should be woman only and it should be more than 50%. Minimum of the three months in operation that cooperative society should be there, then it will be eligible for this Sahkar, uh, Nandini Sahkar's scheme. What are the benefits with this Nandini Sahkar scheme? The credit link is for infrastructure, term loan and working capital. Means for any kind of business and other thing required, the working capital will be provided, capital for that and some infrastructure development, the loan will be provided in the term loan like. Also subsidy for interest subvention from other government schemes and agencies. Means there will be also providing some subsidies on the loan given. What are the incentives? NCDC provides 2% interest subvention on its term loan interest rate. If you are taking term loan rate interest, 2% interest subvention will be there for the new and innovative activities. If you are, if the woman is providing new and innovative activity, 2% interest subvention will be there. 1% interest subvention on its term loan interest. Again, it is for the term loan, uh, loan interest rate. For all other activities, lowering borrowing cost means if you are doing any activity just from which you can reduce your borrowing money call, um, borrowing money will be reduced then one percent subvention will be again reduced will, reduction will be also there on the rate of loan interest nandini sekar scheme the objective the focus financial assistance the support the implementation and the disbursement the objective the nandini sekar scheme aims to support women cooperatives in alignment with the art nirmar bharat initiative enhancing the socio economic status of the women the focus area it provides financial assistance project formulation also help in formulation of projects hand holding Capacity development means making them not to get failed and then improving their capability and especially for women cooperatives engaged in business activities. Financial assistance, there is no minimum or maximum limit on the financial assistance provided for projects by women cooperatives. So upper limit and the lower limit is not there. There is an unlimited. What are the supports are there? The scheme includes inputs for anthro enterprise development, business plan formulation, credit, subsidy and interest subvention. So overall the women empowerment will be there from the other schemes. So it will be credit, subsidy, interest subvention from other schemes. Implementation if you are talking about National Cooperative Development Corporation, NCDC, National Cooperative Development Corporation. Funding is project based as of March 31st, 2024. No proposal have been received from the women cooperatives in Bihar till the disbursement. NCDC has community disbursed, community cumulatively disbursed 6,426.36 crore for the developing women promoted cooperative society across India. What is the main objective of the Nandini Sahkar scheme? Option A, to support main cooperative in India, to enhance socio-economic status of women through the financial assistance, to provide funding for all types of cooperatives in the country, to promote a small business run by youth in the rural areas. So please give comment for this answer in your comment in the comment box.